Put him on a shorter lead for the let you get past. Right, come on, because he's, he's a big puppy, just wants to lunge and pull. <laughs> oh, he's he's huge, he wants he? to play with every dog he sees. Hey, puppy. <laughs> How old is he? He's just gone a year, March. Oh. Oh, wow, he's, uh, he's just still in puppy stages. Yeah, he's daft, yeah. as a, daft as a brush. Yeah. But he's as, strong as a bullet. Hasn't, hasn't got his, all his manners yet. <laughs> I used to have staffies when I was growing up. They're beautiful. I've just lost loyal. two um, at oh. old age. Yeah. I had a dog. I could take him any way I wanted. Yeah. Off the leader. Did as he told. Yeah. Lovely dog. Yeah. All round dog. <laughs> like leader, but him, right? different yeah. kettle of fish. Yeah. I'm trying to train him in the countryside now uh, by introducing him to sheep and yeah. Cattle and horses because yeah. they just don't know what they are, yeah. so they run over to them out of curiosity. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm surprised that you've been down there and went to stroke him because lots of people are scared stiff of them because yeah. of the, oh, no. the media. Yeah. But, uh, but it's not the dog, it's, yeah. it's, it's the people, owners. They get this yeah. mentality. People, a lot of people get like preconception. Yeah, yeah. And, well, and when the media come up with these stories where they have yeah. more people and you know yeah. get them on a muzzle, yeah. ship them, and I'm it's all about the money. Yeah. yeah. That's all it is. I had uh, had them growing up in the 90s yeah. and I had a black staff and I remember because I live south of here in London right. and um, uh, we, I went to a news agents and sat outside with a dog, she's a beautiful dog and she was a rescue and uh, people wouldn't come in anywhere near the news agents because the dog was there. I was like, seriously? Yeah. And Asa was nowhere near as big as this no, chat. No. But when people see the colour of his eyes, what they think, you think, yeah. ooh, yeah. you know, they're yeah. just like standoffish. But that's yeah. why I'm very surprised you just bend down, stroke them straight away really without good. hesitation. If, if, you you know, can tell if, you've been you, around you, dogs. You would have told me if you would know, yeah. have said yeah. no. Well, the only so, reason why I put him on a short lead is because, like I say, he's, he's with a being a puppy, yeah. lunges yeah. 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 to want to play with the yeah. dogs. We had, um, my brother had a long legged staff uh, in. Uh, we used to walk around Cock Fosters in London. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, um, well. She used to be off the lead and she had such a big jaw, she used to hang off the trees. <laughs> That's what both of mine done, yeah. <laughs> they used to bite the bot off the trees, yeah, rip trees yeah. to bits, carry trees home. Yeah. I mean, for a little blue staff, he was strong as a bull, yeah, my yeah, bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> my brother's got a blue staff, but, uh, she's coming up for 15. But, but they never bothered anybody. They were really highly yeah, trained dogs. You yeah, know, it's how you bring them up. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. two were like all-round dogs, all family loyal. dogs, um, house dogs, yeah. good guard dogs, yeah. and good watch them. Yeah. Like if if you like come up behind me, yeah. it's a wonder sometimes he just stop and look at yeah. you, yeah. wait until you get past, check, check then he out. start walking forward yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got that in already. And I've, I've never trained him for to do that. He just does it himself. Yeah, it's amazing what they pick up. Yeah. But the real reason why. The, the such a big thing about these at the moment, for the, the truth is, you know how all these immigrants are being let across yeah. the borders in every country? Yeah. Well, in America, everybody's got guns to defend them, yes. their wife, yeah. their children, yeah. and their property. Yeah. In England, we've got nothing. No. So what's the best way to, you know, keep them from, <laughs> is get rid of all the big dogs, yeah. put yeah. them on muzzles so they can't yeah. protect you. Yeah. 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 That's what it's all about. Yeah. Beautiful. And apart from that, obviously the council's getting money out of you by, by going chipping them and muzzling them and you know buying yeah. stuff for them. Yeah, it's lovely. And um, <laughs> big bear. That's what his name is, bear. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do. It's called him bear. Oh, it's lovely. Wow, you've got all this on your doorstep. How lucky are you? Yeah, well, no, I've drove from South Shields to come oh, here. Because ah. I'm, I'm chief dog walker for my daughter. Oh, okay. Because ah, okay. yeah. he's big and, and hefty and I like, I want to I go hiking all over the countryside, so yeah. I film everywhere I go. <laughs> He's um, yeah. well, I miss me staffies. I wish, I mean, my dog was so loving and yeah. devoted to me, yeah. would do yeah. everything. Yeah. I told yeah. him straight away, yeah. Um, but in the end, he got that old and he just kept collapsing yeah. on his back legs. Yeah, poor yeah. bugger, it's sad, isn't it? Yeah, my roots are in South Shields, so I like South Shields. I'm born yeah. and bred, so yeah. I'm a, a yeah. sand dancer. Yeah, sand dancer. Have you heard of that? Yeah, my, my grandparents came from there. Right. Uh, but they migrated, migrated uh, down towards London mm -hmm. uh, in the 50s. Right. So that's where my mum was born and then obviously me. But yeah, but I have been to South Shields to so scatter my granddad's ashes because that's oh. where he's from. But it's lovely, very nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I've got some lovely long beaches in yeah. South Shields. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's wanting to say hello. Yeah, want to say hello. Anyway, he, he knows that. Like, enjoy the rest of your day. Get on now. He knows your dog people, you see. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on. Um, right. Right. There's another bridge across over there that, where that car's parked. Like a public footbridge.
It must be people for going to that little township over there for hiking purposes. Because there's a trail going across the um, the grass here where they're going there now. Seeing the grass track going right across towards that bridge, across over the river. Who's that, son? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that dog barking, son? Right, come on, we'll go and finish our walk, son. Come on. But yeah, there's a car parked over there. I wonder if it's their car. That going back to us. You see the road going along there. So that's that road. It's when you cross the main road bridge back there in Rothbury, and you follow it all the way up. You can go that way up towards Simmerside now. Get the car parks. So I've never seen all these pathways before, so now I've seen them. Gateway coming up now. Ah, so I wonder if this is where you come down from the road. Even There's a person coming over that humpback bridge there now with a red top on, running across where the car's parked. All those sheep um, on the top of that hill over there. Right, any person who omits to shut and fasten this gate is liable to a penalty not exceeding 40 shillings. <laughs> right. So obviously this is a continuous road where you can drive along the way that car's parked at the bridge. So I suppose if you go up there, you can actually drive off the main road to come down here. So now that I've never been along here before, I'm going to check it out for future reference. Right, come here. Come here, son. I'll shut the gate again, otherwise I'll get fined 40 shillings. Right, come here. Right, come here. Right, public bridle way to Rothbury, one mile. Right, let's let this person pass on. Right. I'm going that way. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Nosy. Come on. How are you? Morning. Morning. I've never been along here before walking. So So I suppose if you're driving fast you, you wouldn't even see this entrance to drive down there to go to that bridge. But you get some nice views back down the river from here. I 
think there might be a sign on the other side of the road actually pointing um, Riverside Walk, Car Park. That's what I remember seeing. And there's no sign, so if you're driving past here 30 miles an hour, you, you miss it. You'd have to look for a certain marking on the, the side of the road. Oh, there's a lay-by here, so if you miss it, you could whip round on that. Right, so we're coming from Throp, and once you see that um, big lay-by here, you know there's a little track going down, and going down to the bridge at the... Right, we go for nine back, it's just gone, as I'm looking at that um, passing place lay-by on the main road. After walking up this pathway to see where it turns out, there's loads of people walking across that path there, going to the bridge at the far side, and there's dog walkers walking along the edge of the river. Um, there's two people crossing the, the field there, going to where that car's parked at the bottom. So I suppose you could come down this track and drive along there where that car's parked there now, where the bridge is. That's what probably people have done. Drove along there, jumped out the car and just crossed over the bridge, and then started walking up there towards Simon's Head Hills. So there's two people in the, the collie dog walking across and two people that go in the opposite direction. Right, so then two people have just jumped back in their car and they've turned the engine on because the lights have just come on. So I'll be driving back along this way. Sit down, son. Sit, 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 sit. Stay there. Stay there. We've just driven from me, there's a place where you can turn around at the bottom and is there any passing places because it's only thin enough for one vehicle at a time, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, you can turn down round at the bridge there. Right. And there's a passing place just at the bottom of the hill. Just around the corner there. Ah, uh, just, just in case just... anything like farmers' vehicles is coming up when you're trying to drive down. Not farmers, but normally sometimes you get up the top here and someone will turn in from the road. Ah, uh, that's what I'm worried about. That's why I've stopped being asking because I've never been this way before. Uh, I've just walked right along from Rothbury, right. but I've never noticed that this road is here or yeah. that bridge to cross over the river. There's a passing place down the bottom, but if someone comes up at the top end, uh, out, that's you where you run into bother. Okay, <laughs> cheers. Where does that bridge lead to when you cross over? It's, uh, it's obviously a hiker's bridge to get you across to go to Simon's side or something, is it? You can go to Simon's side if you follow the hedge all the way up. Right. It takes you. Uh, brings down to where them houses are over there. Right. And then you go up the hill towards Simon's side, or if you follow it up, you can take you to Frockton. There's another bridge like that, and it takes right. you over the river again and into Frockton. All right. If you follow the river. Okay. So if you follow that field up the river, there's a stile at the top. Right. And then you just follow the river all the way around it, it'll take you out into Frockton. Okay, thanks very much. It's just obviously I take him every way for yeah. walks off the main roads, um, but I've, I've never walked along here, I always drive along to go towards Stropton through yeah. Rothbury because I come from South Shields All right. and um, I'm just exploring, that. that's uh, why I pull you over because you obviously have just drove from there, yeah. so you, do you go down there often? I uh, most to days. get the dog away yeah. from the road, same as me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well enjoy your day, uh, you thanks too. very much mate, cheers, take Thank care, ta right now, come on now. Right, so, something else I didn't know. Right. Right. 
Right, come on, son. I shut the gate again. Right, come here, son. I want to get fine 40 shillings. That's it, right. There we go. Right, come on. Right, back towards Rothbury. So there's loads of new things I've just found out. Uh, them two people have just gone across that grass track. They're starting to walk along the edge of the river over that side, look. And they're going back that way where the S-bends are. And that's where the swans are, on that S-bend. So obviously, once you're on that side, though, you kind of cross over this side. Because um, you've got the you've got the golf course to walk past as well. So that'll be probably fenced off and private. Right, so there's the golf house there now on the golf course. Right, let me take this all in. Right. Right, back along the mile, back to the car. By the time I get back in the um these are coming through the turnstile gate, you know. Right, come and say are you gonna say hello son? Right. Oh, yeah. He's alright, he's just come and say hello. Come here. We'll let you go past. Hang on to her. Like I say he's all he's alright, he just wants to come and say hello. Looking dog. He's he's big. Whoa, he's a big softy. It's just, but he's just too pow, big, powerful, yeah, and I'm I'm disabled powerful. through stroke, so it's it's hard for me to yeah. pull him back. But that's why I put him on a shorter leader. Build your muscles up. No, no, he rip, rips the arms out the sockets. That's what he does. <laughs> exactly. Well, he's just gone a year in March, so he's still in the puppy stages. Oh, right. He's daft as a brush. But he, he would just come over at yours and say hello. Right, yeah, come on. I will let her off. We don't mind. <laughs> Is she is she okay? Oh yeah, she's okay. All she's right, she's not ah, you know, snacky. Well, he be fine. Like I say, he just likes to socialise with all dogs. Yeah. But the trouble is, if I let him off with the leader, and he he would try to follow you, so I'd have to come to you and ask you to try and grab a hold of him, because I can't run. <laughs> I can't get him back on the leader once he's off. Yeah. And he doesn't want to go back on the leader, obviously, because he's he's not daft. He's thinking, oh, I love this being off the leader. Right, come on, enjoy the rest of your day anyway. Turn on now, come on. Right, come on. Oh, it's all kinds of building work going up there. Scaffolding going around. They're building something new. That's a nice house where they've got the big veranda right around the back of it, so they've got beautiful views back down this way. Right. Have you got the right time, please? Go on, you guys keep going. Everybody's got more bars for... 10.25. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Right, come on. Right, that'll do about the same. I'll get back to the car and drive back home. That'll be um, just leaving dinner time. I mean, I only drove 44.9 miles to get here. So how I got here was come along the A1, past the metro centre, and just kept on going until I got to the turn off for the Coldstream Road, which is the A697. Took that off, drove along to the Anglers Arms um, signpost, um, drove around the back of the Anglers Arms pub, and just keep, kept coming along the Rothbury Road. I'm coming to Rothbury down here. All right. Oh, yeah. Come on, son. Are we nosy? Come on. Are we stop being nosy? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Still turn the way down. That must be 
another way of getting along the river then, that way. Right. Well, this is, this is ideal for me because you can't go far. It just means I've got to keep on a leader though because you're in sheep territory and cattle. But I don't mind that as long as he's not pulling me bloody arms off constantly. But because he's had a bit of a walk now, he's he's um, settled down a bit now. He's not as bad. He's not ex excitable. Good boy, son. Good boy. Right, we're going home now to see Talisha. Come on, we're going home now. See Talisha. I'll let him go in the river for another drink and all when we get underneath the road bridge. I'll let him go back down, get a drink. So as you're coming along from Rothbury, that turn off, that little road there, it's very hard to see because there's, there's no markings on it. There's just that lay-by. Well, Thropton's the next village along. There's me and Road here. So the, them lads are all um, in a group of them. They must be from the a walking club of some sort. How? Come on. Come on, we're going now. Are we going now, son? Going back to the car now. Come on, back to the car. Come on. Good boy, son. Good boy. Back to the car, son. Good boy. Of course, it's getting into the afternoon now, so more and more people are starting to come out. So we'll get more people coming along here and dog walkers. Well, it's been a pleasant walk along here, and I've learned loads. That I didn't know about before.